spread, as Kendall mentioned, not as high as what we have seen the past four weeks, and we'll take it. But each and every day, we're going to unfortunately stick with this chance at least for some storms. Here's the zone that we're watching right along the Red River from Plainview down I-27 points east, moving into portions of southwestern Oklahoma, and then getting a little closer to Dallas, but not quite there. Most of that threat north of the I-20 corridor. And so this is as we head later into the evening. Another threat that we have to watch when we're talking about this severe potential is that large hail. So while the storms, they could be um, pretty Producing heavy rain, uh, gusty winds, the large hail is also going to be a problem. But when we're looking at the scale a little lower with this event, and we'll take it. But we're in that time of the day, especially through the southern plains, where we'll watch to see some of these storms heat up. So here's what, what it's looking like. As we head into the afternoon, what we're expecting, those storms could be developing right along I-40, heading into Amarillo, mostly to the east. And also with the newest outlook that we have, it appears to be south of Amarillo. Amarillo, but we'll have to see some energy is going to be crossing over the, the Rockies and we have enough divergence aloft to where maybe some of these storms could be uh, producing some hail and gusty winds. There are those storms as we head into the evening hours and then as we track these showers through even Missouri, it's going to be more of a rain and the storms continuing even as we head into the overnight hours. The good news is that though these storms aren't expected to be on the severe side and we'll take it as they make that approach to uh, Arklatex. Now tomorrow will bring its own threat too as the atmosphere has a little bit of time to uh, recharge from Joplin down to Tulsa and Oklahoma City. It's going to be Wednesday afternoon that we have to watch for this zone, a slightly higher threat on the likely side, level two out of five. So we'll watch that, that I-44 corridor. Amarillo, Texas, what's that forecast? Might be able to squeak by today without a storm. Can't totally rule it out, but it does appear that that threat's going to be east and south of you guys. Temperatures on the warm side, look at that, warming as we head into the evening with those winds maybe bringing a little bit of heat. Then as we head farther north and east of Amarillo, we go to Tulsa, Oklahoma. 81 degrees on Wednesday, but we have those storm chances that are going to be ramping up this evening. And then certainly as we head into the day on Wednesday, that's when the threat's going to be the highest. And then we go into Joplin. What we're expecting there in Joplin, southwestern Missouri, temperatures in the 60s today, a dry day. Those storm chances, though, arrive on Wednesday. That's when we have that threat for severe weather. Temperatures overall, though, not too bad, perhaps 75 by Thursday. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.